a motion to call to order. Open. So, so make we'll a motion. Second. Aye. Aye. Okay. The first item is the minutes from January 27, 2022. To accept. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No meeting mail. No appointments. Should we jump to letter B? You think, Mr. Isaac, or should we just start with A? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. No, no damn it. So let's try B. Try How about B. B? Equipment delivery plan. Bobby's fixing this car. Well, um, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I talked with the uh, Toro folks today um, of the equipment that's been ordered. If you remember back in June, there was a triplex ordered, um, actually on June 27th, uh, 5400 triplex. The tentative arrival date for that in uh, Enfield, Connecticut is uh, the middle of May, second or third week of May. Once it gets to Connecticut, they'll assemble it and so on. So June. that machine may be here last week of May, first week of June. Um, then the second grouping of equipment was a um, 1026 walking T-mower. Um, that's to arrive in Enfield mid-March, and it could be delivered here the first week of April. Um, this year? Excuse me? Of this year? Yes, <laughs> this year. <laughs> no, it's nice. Sure, so that's a good, you never know that's a, uh, that's right, a good question. <laughs> you are correct. Um, the second item on that list was a 1260 uh, Greens Roller. That's going to be Enfield at the same time in mid-March. Um, and it could be delivered the week, uh, first week of April. Um, the only reason I said could, they'll be ready to be delivered. I wasn't sh quite sure how we were going to approach those two pieces of machine machinery because if you remember those two machines were um, put together in a group of four items that were supposed to be on a five-year equipment lease well the other two items in that grouping a second 3400 triplex and a 3555 fairway unit will not be available to until 2023 so for at least a year um, and they could not give us a tentative date um, of availability. They just say 2023. So um, in that regard, I didn't, I wasn't, you know, of course the other two machines are available to be delivered. So I don't, I, you know, I, I might be mistaken, but obviously you, you can't do that, you know, five year, you know, equipment lease on two pieces and then wait for the other two later on and have it in the same lease under the same parameters and what for, uh, what have you so I'm not sure how to uh, how you want to proceed on those two items the uh, the walking team hour is uh, $16,410 unit and the roller is a $15,417 unit so you're looking at 30,000 so you're looking at $31,827 to on the two of those so I didn't know how to give you know, um, there's no you know obviously no rush but I don't know how the committee wants to handle um, the you know, pay, the payment for those whether you, you know you want the ob two options one to pursue at least just on those two particular items since the other two items aren't available or to possibly buy those two items outright and not include them in the lease and uh, deal with the other two items when they become available for delivery. So. How should we, or what's the recommended way to proceed? Because I'm, I mean, again, I'm sure you could do the, the uh, five-year lease on them. I just didn't know uh, if that's the way it wanted to go or not, since the other two items weren't included. Can we find out if this is what what the rent, what the situation is with a five-year lease, what the price would be? Yeah, I can get a five-year lease on those two items. Um, 
you know, because the uh, again the other two won't be included for the time of, until it wouldn't wouldn't be available for the lease until the time of delivery. So I could get a five year lease. So the up. lease that the five year lease on those two pieces of equipment yeah. will be due this year, F F Y twenty two. Yeah, if they're delivered, yeah, if they're delivered in FY22, if you, you the, doll, the 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 leasing and the purchase, as far as uh, TPC is concerned, is um, whenever they're you know, whenever they're delivered, ten ten net ten days after they're delivered or something like that. So yeah. It's gonna be delivered before July, right? Otherwise, it's gonna go in the yeah, following year. July first. Yeah. Okay, so I'll but, get but if it. But if, it, if we get delivery in March or April or whatever, we should take it, right? Yeah, I would think, yeah, because you don't know when they may may be available again. <coughs> um, I mean, it, once the units are on their property, I mean, I could try to, you know, if you wanted to push it to the, the following fiscal year, I could ask them if that would be a possibility. But I don't know if they're going to sit on the two units for... Uh, May, June, you know, for, for right. a couple months. Although so they might sell it to somebody else. Might see exactly, yeah. Then you'd have to, you know, if you were to order another one, then you'd have to, um, you'd have to wait, but you know, set up and everything else. So I don't know if we have any leverage because they've made us wait this long, um, and it wasn't, you know, it was out of our control. But we could always ask if they would do that. So. I think it'd be worth it. just asking him to like revise the lease quote on just those pieces that we could get. Okay, I'll contact the contact them and have that done then. Is that it for the equipment update? Then? Okay. So I'm just talking to equipment and Dana's here. Let's back up to letter A with the uh, cart lease plan. So we have six pages there. <coughs> uh, they're roughly uh, for cart, the quantity of carts, 15, 20, or 30, as far as kind of giving you some options so we can kind of weigh our financial obligations moving forward. Uh, we, Manny and I, uh, Manny, Ed and I, had sat down and discussed uh, a rotation plan, I think pre-COVID, right? We, and we established that first rotation and we did 14 cots. And uh, so we were initially thinking 74 cots, get rid of the 14 old, and then do a 20, 20, and 20 uh, denomination of quantities of carts moving forward. Then COVID set in, supply, demand. Um, we weren't allowed to do, we weren't able to get any carts for the uh, last two years. So what I've included is your first two sheets are for a quantity of 15 carts. Sheet one is a cash purchase. Sheet two is to finance the 15 carts. Sheet three is 20 carts with cash purchase or the page behind it, finance and then Five and six are 30 cots, cash purchase versus financing. The financing would be for five, uh, based on what we've done in previous years, five years at 5.5 is the current interest rate. And in discussing um, the finances with the club car, club car sales rep, <clears throat> he had mentioned to make sure that I um, bring to your attention the fact that obviously we're uh, we're in an in inflationary increase period in the economy so you want to weigh that in your decision options as well as the cost of the carts and as well as supply and demand similar to Steve's situation uh, if, if we make a commitment we need to make a commitment in any quantity to get the carts 
for next year. We're not getting any carts this year. So we would have to come to a decision what quantity that we want, put in our order, and then that would be, um, if we get in soon, we would then be able to get them for next season. How old is that cart now? Uh, our fleet is uh, 2017s, except for the the 14 new ones that we got that we traded in. Yeah, you have um, 60 2017s. You have 14 of the new ones that we just received, and we have two old old carts and one very old cart. <laughs> so this. So we but that green one still runs. The, the green tank. One, yeah, the green one still runs. That's uh, I can't will they hold that interest rate? Um, if, uh, if we do do something now, will they hold that interest rate? How long? Will they jump it up if inflation gets higher? I'm not sure. I can. Uh, I'm going to call him after the meeting. If you guys come to a determination, that is something that I can ask him and address. I'm not sure how long that they can hold we'll anything. Flexible. You know, interest on it. Mm -hmm. So, it, so with the point that I want to make is obviously you guys are aware the Fed is talking about interest rate increases, as you just stated, and if they bump up a quarter point or five or six quarter points or half point, and I mean that's that's all relevant into how how much we're going to pay and finance these out, as well as the um, the any delayed decision will. Be uh, an increase in costs as well. So um, the 15 carts over the fifth, the first uh, sheet two. Because I'm assuming we're not going to pay cash. We're going to finance them out. 15 carts. Um, annual payment of 13,854. And if you did the 20 carts, your total purchase price is 119 less our trade in equity. What's that number say? I can't even see that. Is that 67? 67. So what, what's that number say? 119, that says, looks like 37. 37. 37 and 82.6. 82.6. 32. Yeah, 37 is the, the less trade. So out. that's for your, that's the cat, uh, the cash purchase financed out. Um, 37 is for two cards, right? I mean, one, one, one yeah. right? So yes. That's the, the traded value. <coughs> traded value of 20. Total net price. Minus that, right? Total net price is 82,000. Yeah. Correct. 82,006, 32,060. Yeah. Okay. If you finance it at five and a half, your annual payment, you're looking at eighteen four seventy two. And again, that's on on a, um, the five year what we've typically done in the past. Five years also, as we discussed, twenty twenty two, five years are at twenty twenty seven. So you're completing the bond payment for the golf course, you'll own your carts, and then we can kind of move forward and make a decision from there. We, you know what way we want to go. Um, should we get there? And then your thirty would cost us fifty-five thousand five hundred, right? Um, so that is thirty cuts. That's your your trading equity. Yeah. Your total purchases. Uh, one twenty. One hundred. I'm sorry. One twenty-three nine forty-eight. Yes. One twenty-three nine forty-eight. That's your uh, less your trade equity. That would be a cash cash purchase. If you finance it, you turn the page, and you're looking at twenty seven seven oh eight is what your five year annual payment would be. Do you think? Now, if I read the initial plan was to kind of do twenty twenty and twenty, but then that's meaning. Let's see, so the cards of 2017, entering the year, then six, then that last batch would be on year seven by the time we. 
and I kind of expressed to Ed because he was feeling me out on you know what my thought process was, and I was like, as far as a golf course, we offer the conditions of the golf course at a reasonable price and a golf cart. I mean, those are our base. That's our only amenity that we offer to our customers. So that's you got to think that piece of equipment they are going to sit in for four and a half hours. So it's I mean, it's a um, very visible, and it's the representation of, of the product that we're giving giving to the customer. And I, and I you know, and I so understand that we need equipment for to keep the car, uh, the course in great condition, but as far as amenities and what we offer. This is one of the few things that you can give to your customer and show them. We put 30, that means you want to have 30, you have 44 cars that are uh, pretty new, mm -hmm. but you still have a little more money than the ones. The other thing to remember too is, again, with the age of the carts, the higher their repair costs are getting. Mm -hmm. um, we just uh -huh. serviced them all now, and it wasn't too bad, but we've had a couple of carts that have cracked uh, frames. The, not the not the actual frame, but the uh, the cap or the the person the portion that supports the seats, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. cracked windshields, missing bumpers, and so on. So um, the cables underneath, we replaced five uh, accelerator cables. Um, so the cart, so those the cart when the accelerator cable frays or breaks, push on the pedal, the motor turns over, but the cart doesn't move because it doesn't get additional fuel to make it move forward. These, as a shows you, wouldn't be until June of 23. So, mm -hmm. as this is a ordering now for a whole almost year and a half out from now. Right. And that's basically what you're doing is holding your spot to get your carts. Yeah. For 223. For 223. Wow. Which makes the whole fleet another year older before these first 20 will even come in. We did 20, I'm sorry. Or not, we did. So, if we do 20 every year, when would we? be clear of the 2017s. Well, you have you have three rotations of 20s, and then you're back onto the, the 14 cots that we did. If you did two two rotations of 30, then yeah, it did, if you did 20, then it'd be it'd be 2025 when you were right. rotating your last last two 17s out. If you did 30, it would be 2024. Because it'd be there's only sixty of them, so it's two, right? Two cycles. So we have to have two more years. Yes, yeah, so they would be the last batch would be eight years old by the time we have the new ones. So. That's kind of old. Well, when we last, what was the what were the ones that we had? Uh, what was the age of the year? Two thousand twelve. Twelve. Twenty twelve. Right. Yeah. Were they when we traded them in? Though ten, were they ten? Right. Ten years old. Well, we just we just traded we just traded the last fourteen of them in, so those were ten years old. Yes. Yeah, so, but the, um, what I'm getting at is the um, repair costs skyrocketed on those yeah, last well they, three years. Yeah. They they um, well they again like I said they wear out. You know, tires start to go. Um, steering <coughs> the uh, you know the the uh, steering uh, knuckles in the front. The steering goes and the cart starts to wobble and it doesn't steer straight and so on. So. So again, again, it's like your automobile. You know, the more yeah. miles you put on it, the more things wear out. And the other thing too is that these last two years, the carts that we currently have have seen more wear and tear than what previous carts have had because they were doing an extra cycle a day. <coughs> so, not that they're in bad shape, but these are just things to consider in, in making the decision. Yeah, that's this fiscal year, FY. Twenty three, twenty two. We have a balloon payment of twenty nine thousand uh, from the two thousand seventeen models, mm -hmm. and we got the first payment of the two thousand twenty one, which comes to forty four thousand. In FY twenty three, we still have the, the final balloon payment of twenty nine thousand. We got the fifteen thousand for the two thousand twenty one. And if we take on the, the uh, twenty rotation that'll be another eighteen thousand. So it'll be up to sixty two thousand. And if we repeat that 
and next year it'll be the blue payment will be gone. You have 15 for the 14 cards, 18 for the 23 cards, and then you can take 18 for the next one. So it'll come down to 51. So it's whether you want to want to move the payment up from current 44 up to 62. Delivery May June 2023. I guess more than a year out. I'm just thinking if it's that close to June, if it's that close to July, we could just push. put you know hold on to it for a couple of weeks. We were just potentially saying, and then it doesn't make that payment essentially till the FY 24 budget. If it's only a few weeks, if it really was June right. of 23, work with them to do. He would do you that. Know, a one month extension. So they'll the deliver in April. And Delay payment to July yeah, 1. Right, so it accrues interest for two months, but then you just build that in with the first payment in July, and then it would push it off to that fall in the fiscal year. So it would be the balloon payment and the payment in the same year. Right. right. That would be for 20, 20 cards? 20, 20, 20 cards. 20 cards, July 2023. Delivery yeah, in April 2024. We'll go payment until July 1, which they, they've done that in the past. Yeah. So. I mean, with everything that's transpired, we were extremely flexible in our situation that we endured when yeah. they weren't delivered due to supplies. So, I mean, I, I don't think that they would have a problem. I think that makes sense. If they can move it up to the yeah. for why don't we pursue that with them if we're all on board with that, right? Um, why don't we pursue that angle with them, try to get that oil right. locked in and tell them that would be our plan? Do you, uh, do you, are you interested in seeing a three year price out on them right, versus a five, or do you just want to do the five like we've done? Stay with the five? Stick with five. Got it. You want me to yeah. see, confirm with him first before you guys see if there's any complications? What's his commitment? It, it, uh, we would have to commit pretty, actually his commitment was last week. Hmm. Well, this page I'm looking at says, yeah, yeah, February 15th, that was last week. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think the only thing that we're asking for potentially would be just depending on how close it comes, you know, just being the, the, the first payment not until July, regardless of whether it comes April, May, or June. So I don't think that should sway us either no. way. So why don't we just, just we'll, approve? We we'll get a motion to go ahead with the 20 cards for five years. And then again, yeah. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. <coughs> I'll second it. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 We did B. So 20, 22 green space. The previous meeting, um, I had submitted a handout with uh, the rounds per price point. Essentially, uh, came with the, and I did 
explain that obviously this was based upon the playing season March 1 2021 through December 31st 2021 but it should give you a pretty pretty good idea of what the uh, rate increase uh, in would incur for revenue additional revenues um, going down the line it came out to roughly eighty thousand uh, dollars if the volume of play stayed at that level um, basically it was a two two dollar increase across the board one dollar increase on the carts and then uh, in comparison to the uh, season pass holder program they were incrementally they went up 20 40 rounds there was a two dollar increase per 20 rounds two dollar increase per 40 per 60 rounds as well so um, with those increases it came out to eighty thousand six eighty one and I'm not sure where where we want to go with that discussion if we felt comfortable with that number if we were thinking more uh, if we we're thinking less roughly in comparison uh, John and I did a, a competitive price analysis with our competition I think the only one that was really lower than us was the whale that was it and everybody else was uh, above us or well above us and I mean that's that's the niche that we have created um, and that's kind of what our customer uh, has come to expect from us a quality product at a value price and we've created that price model um, it's proven to be successful as Ed has done some research with some competitors I've done some research with some competitors you've seen Hawthorne go out of business McCoy is sold to a new owner so I mean we're making our dent in the market and our our rounds have increased um, our season passes have increased so I think a conservative approach when it comes to pricing would be wise but I mean uh, we are here to make money and and develop the golf program so I mean it's up, up for a discussion I think that's a reasonable low at this time of the year, this time of the decade, I guess. I want to go too much higher. We had several people on the finance committee stating that we should go up to around five dollars that increase, and I was totally against that. I said it's uh, really, be, especially with the way the world situation is. Well, yeah, it was in this last week. Yep. Last you, say, hey, you said it at the last meeting, right? What, what happens with the economy? Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, the economy don't look like it's going to be going up too quick. <laughs> Not the way things are going. And uh, Thanks, Joe. To, to our prices, we're lucky to get people playing golf this year. With, with the price of food going up, gasoline Gas going, up, going up, everything is going up. Uh, what are the people going to do? Are they going to want to buy a, a loaf of bread or go out and play golf? I mean, I'd rather go play golf, but... I mean, one, one thing that, that's probably true in, with the economy is, is that there aren't going to be too many people traveling outside the country to do other things. Um, you know, even though COVID is, that cloud is dissipating, uh, people will be going outdoors and doing other things. But for the most part, they're probably doing staycations and hopefully they'll maintain golfing. Um, well, my, I think we should take a small bite this year and bring it back on the table for next year and see if we have to do anything with it the following year. And I don't think a $5 hunk is a... That's, I, would, I think that's... That's $5 for the fee and a dollar for, that's six bucks. No, I, I totally disagree with the $5, but that's what we hear. Yeah, oh, we, even from the cheaps, that the $5 bill is what we should go. Um, I, I kind of disagree. I think we got to stay either between two or three, but no higher than three. Yes. I, I, I totally agree. I mean, you, you can always revisit it. I don't know about anybody else. No higher than three. What I kind of like, so to speak, about the math and working with the two, the, the that level of increased revenue kind of funds the, the positions that we were trying to you know, like either expand a little bit or add some more hours, but right? what more helps us, that's kind of helping to pay for that as well. And it is a, a delicate balance between 
you know, there's the supply and demand. If the price goes up too much, well, then the demand goes down a little bit, and then in the end, where are you? So. Oh, but do we see in we see in the point that we're adding a lot more people, employees, that the money's going to come from somewhere. Right. You know, um, we yeah. hire more people in uh, the green, the green side, more people in uh, the Gulf side. So well, minimum wage is is the that's the biggest. That's another thing the, that's the biggest uh, factor over the last couple I mean, of years. You can't get anybody for the minimum wage anyway. No. They all want to hire than that. Everybody wants to be the boss. Yeah, Coming at the like top, work their way down. <laughs> All the capital is about two tenants. About two. I mean, you can say it. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just I'm aware. Of, you guys know better than I do. I, mean, I know several groups that come to our course every single week from quite a distance away. Mm -hmm. right, so that so five dollars may make them not want to. Thirty to forty hours. miles. Right. I was just going to say 35, 40 minutes to get. By the time by the time this happens, gas will be five bucks. Yeah. So it's going to cost them five dollars more to get here. Five yeah. dollars more to get back. And another five dollars at the cost. Listen, we, when we went through that that fuel increase um, years ago, that did impact customers and, and where they played. You, I heard it from customers. They were, hey, I used to play it all the time, but now the gas is it's cost me X amount. If I add that to the round, I might as well just play the place near my house. So it, it is a factor. We, we still got to buy the gas. To do for yeah. yeah, no, I know, I know, but I mean, See, it's, one it's, way it's all in it. They, 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 you know, they're not they riding blind to the golf courses. They they know money and they're doing their calculations. At least we're going and staying steady for the year. It's not like in my market that I'm involved with. It plus which every week. Right. <laughs> I mean, we got we got to cope with this every week. Ed, we increased last year, right? Yeah, two dollars. Two dollars. Right. Prior to that, I think I asked you this, but I forgot. What was our re our increase prior to last week? What, how long ago? We didn't increase for a while there. It was it was two years. Yeah, two years two. Yeah, all right. And, and it was two dollars. Yeah, yeah, it only went up. It was, yeah, it was it was yeah. And then I think it was even two years after before that okay. too. So we did like a two year yeah so resting period two times. But this time we're not gonna no. I, I would yeah. no. no we, we, I mean I, I know it's gonna be an increase. going up on everything. Just, yeah. Like you said, between that, some is. Yeah, somewhere is in there between yeah. the yeah. Between two, two and three. I mean, but also, too, that's when we had older cots, and now we have newer cots. So I mean, it's it's easy to discuss it with the customer and explain our position. What do you we mean, have yeah, we have to do it because you do what gas yeah, yeah, cots. Yeah, we yeah, have new cots. cots. Of course, so if we do something, wages. Like, uh, what do they have? Go up. Three and no, two on the cots. That's well, we were, yeah, that would be steep. Well, you go two and two on the cots. Well, I was going to say two. We, we're 52 during the week. We're 69 on the weekend, and that's with a cart. If you did the, the two on the weekday, you'd be at 54. And on the weekend, you'd end up going up three because you go two on the walking and one on the cart. So you'd be going uh, 72 on the weekend. How about we go two on the two and then two more bucks on the cot instead of one? <coughs> Swansea has their 22 rates out. Right. They're 18 holes with a cart on a weekday is 63 bucks. In a cart, 18 is 23 bucks. What's our cot? 21? It's not, 19. Uh, 19. 19. So maybe we go two on the cots and two on the round. On weekends, because on weekdays it's it's all inclusive. It's one price, so it's fifty-two. Yeah. So if you went up, you go up two. Well, you you, you would know this better than I. I mean, what do you think about that? What, what's your view on weekend? You you could probably get away with it on the weekend with with the you know the the clientele on the weekend. You got your weekend warriors. That's the day that they get to go out and play golf. They worked right. all week. And, and those are the guys that pay 69. 69 bucks. Right? right, and right now, I mean, they're not, you know, they're Swansea, not. Swansea new increase on the weekend is 73 with a car. So that's roughly where we would be if we did that. Six, yeah, right. 69 would as four, you're 73. We'd be right there with them. Yeah, you're 72, that's 73. So you go two So that's, two. that's a four dollar increase on the weekend, two dollar increase on the weekday. If anything, I think we're late on the weekday. The fifty-four dollars special, if if that's what we decide on. True, but but also pre-COVID, those were our struggles. Those right. that was our struggling day. 
when COVID set in, we didn't have a struggle anymore. So it as this thing plays out with the economy and, and inflation and, and everybody's costs, how do we want to set ourselves up? Because it's it's easier to work our way into it. It's it's almost impossible to work your way out of it. Once you go up, you own it. Well, you, we've been discount we've been discounting at rates forever. I know, and that's why we're so successful. Right. That's our model. But we can do that. Though. That doesn't mean we own it because if we decided to come down, you we can come down. We, and issue with this yeah one. that after a year I don't think you have to, you can come down within that year you know what we've I mean? done that we've created a special after 11 or 12 oh, yes at, at, at times we have done that in real times of struggle we've tried to uh, it's open, create it's a, a special hot spot give them a discount. well fill the gaps we but fortunately we haven't had many gaps as of late but we still have that special on, right? We do a twilight on weekday, yes. Yeah, and a twilight on the weekend as well. And, uh, so maybe go the $2 and eliminate the twilight during the week. You could do that. Or, we, or we can eliminate the weekday special, period. What, just go with a, a straight rate? Right. Yeah, you, you can. Or you can do anything you want. But this is my thing. It's, we don't have to recreate the wheel here. You have a program that is successful. So do you really want to start tweaking it when it's working? Or do you want to try and fix it when it's broken? That's that's my point. Let's not break something and then have to try and chase our tails around it. Let's run with what's working. When it wasn't broken, we, we, we fixed it by putting a weekend, weekday special in place. So well, now we now now it's it's fixed supposedly. Why do why do we want to have a weekday special? Because it's working and you put it in place, mm -hmm. and you head into an economy that's not as sure as it was last year or the year before, and you don't have COVID hanging over your head and pushing people herding cattle into your into your barn. No, it does give you something to to market a little bit. You know, the special includes the car. No, pricing. And what, what, why do you want to take it away? What's that? that? Because I hear you say I'm sold out on Monday. I'm sold out on Tuesday. I'm sold out on Wednesday. I'm sold out on Thursday. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it just means you're leaving money on the table. So that's gonna say. And then you sell pass holders. At another twenty three percent discount to that. Me or you? <laughs> Us. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and it's been successful. You've made millions of dollars on that passholder program and it's a self marketing program and everybody in the market has duplicated it. Again, if it's not broke, why would you want to fix something? Everybody duplicates. A lot of people have those programs now. Yeah, they have rounds per Allendale has rounds package and round programs. packages. Yeah, they can build sell packages. Twenty round packages. The Goyasm, everybody yeah. after we were successful with twenty, forty, and sixty, everybody started pecking away at it. Listen, we went from being the guys new kids on the block, right? I mean, you guys are here from Jump Street and it's your baby. We came in. Jason. Now we're not chasing anymore. We're leading. So let's keep leading and let's not do what everybody else is doing. Let's do our program because it's working. If you want to minimize people coming and knock off a few rounds, then jump up the rate. That'll scare them away and then you'll make more money for, per round. But don't mess, don't, yeah, I know, but don't, don't break. The, the business model that you've that we've worked for 20 years setting in place that people have come to expect and appreciate in that customer loyalty that's you've already branded the business as the way we operate we don't need like 400 prototypes of golf balls this, this is our program is working so my thought on a weekday the special right people 
in your mind, right? Kind of look at things in, in five dollar hunks, like so. Fifty four is kind of like fifty five. So why not be fifty five? But fifty six gets in your mind that you're paying sixty. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I mean, if we're at fifty four with two, I mean, I to me, and just by the way my mind would immediately look at it, I think fifty four and fifty five is not going to make a difference to me. Just me. And then when you say fifty six, your mind starts thinking sixty, even though it's fifty six. Yeah. Right. So I mean, if we were to do something, I, I could even see going up to say 55 on the special. Personally, I wouldn't want to go another dollar more than that. But if you're going to do two, why not do three on that? Just make it a 55, and it's still below some of the competition, and it's not in the mindset of people thinking it's 60, right? Because you're still at the middle of the 50 range. It would, you know, capitalize a little bit more on the balance between the price point and still drawing enough customers and, you know, to Ed's point where we have been busy on weekdays lately, but I'm sure part of being the busy is our price point compared to other people. Right? So it's the balance with everything. So I mean, that's just my thought on that. One, and then we don't want to get too high on the weekends because you, know, you get your weekend warriors, but then it's also... They'll go elsewhere. We don't want them, right, we don't want them going elsewhere. We've worked very hard on recruiting them to become loyal customers. Let's keep, let's keep them happy. My thought on the weekend play is that people already have a feeling before they even book that they're not going to get a tea time. So they revert somehow and, and make a weekday tea time. I can know, but, but like Friday, you know, Fridays are busy out there. Friday's probably <laughs> as busy as Saturday. Fridays, yes. Right? <coughs> Thursday, same thing. So the, the, the scarce part of it is is Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But there's leagues involved there too. You know, I mean, I, I, I think that you know, like I said, the weekend play because of, of of the unavailability of the local guy, he'll he'll take shots at going during the week. Which, which you know, I would do the same. I mean, the price is twenty dollars less. Yeah, it's been effective. Listen, it's to, it's a success story for for everybody here that's made decisions and put it in play. I just think you're going to have to keep in mind that this year might be, be this this season is going to be different because people yeah. are going to you know there's a lot of uncertainty about how much you're going to have to spend, right. and that uncertainty isn't going anywhere mm -hmm. for a couple of months. Uh, I agree with Dave. I mean, I kind of like the the, the, the five dollar kind of picture look you know if I you know I, these prices kill me it says 55 not, uh, you know 55.99 where ga gas is always 349.99 why don't you just put 350 on the sign right, right, because right. 350 looks bigger to everybody right. than 349.99 yeah, so right. you know you go up three dollars you still keep especially go up three dollars during the week and then on the weekend you you know you do what you originally planned and I think you make the difference but the other thing we have to keep in mind is Everybody, you know, our public's cost is going up, but our cost is going up significantly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made, you know, we made a commitment to make a 10% jump in, in a couple categories in, in my budget, which I felt comfortable with. I just sat down the fertilizer people this week and ha ha, 10% of ain't getting you nothing. I mean, it's getting you one application because the prices are going through the roof and they're gonna, that's, I'm making commitments right now on fertility purchases because if I wait a month they're going to go up. One product that I priced out in in uh, December was $410 a case. Guy came back to me uh, at the beginning of this week it was $468 a case. Now. That is the mystical said, beast really? of inflation, <laughs> right? There's no real way to tie down a, a number, an increase with inflation because people start throwing into the mix other stuff so that they can make more money and then it, and it's a little bit more and then it's a little bit more and then that guy's doing that so this guy adds his, more to his price that's how <coughs> inflation just keeps creeping and and uh it's it's here now you do a little bit now like john said and then you know next year you look at revisit it, it. yeah yeah I, I, to that point it's true it's not an end-all be-all we could put something in play and then if we uh, decide that we need to change it we'll change it <coughs> the, the key is 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 the number of rounds right? yeah. I totally agree last year 42,000 a lot of rounds which is good because we could it was too many too many rounds <laughs> because we can't get the maintenance 
work done when we, when we need to get them done. Well, I, I walked the course today, and, and to Steve's point, he said last year that some of these tea boxes, they're, they're chewed to pieces. I mean, that course took a beating last the last two years. But when you go back five years, the total rounds we did in 50, FY15, 30,000 rounds. Mm -hmm. FY16, 30,000 rounds. Mm -hmm. FY17, 29,000. FY18, 31,000. FY19, 32,000. So prior to the COVID-19, <coughs> we weren't making it. Yeah, no, because yeah. we, we had that, that what, 08 recession, that blast, right. and it was a struggle coming out of that. It didn't come back like that. Mm -hmm. It was a work in progress. But that's why we put the pass holes in effect. No, yeah, but we, we've run pass holders for 20 right, years. Right. It, it's, it's been a great program. And then we discounted 200 bucks to get people to buy them. At one point we did, but we stopped doing that. Right. And it's still, last year we sold as, as more pass books than we've ever sold. Two so what's everybody's feeling? $22? Now I I go. What you said you pay two and three, yeah. and, and figure figure out figure, uh, figure out um, after this year we have to make an increase for next year. What about a suggestion if we go? I mean, maybe it's not so bad. If we go two on weekends because we already high on weekends, then why during the week and during the week we go up the tree? You do that because we lower the. Uh, so Much we'll more on the week, weekday, yes. All right, so what would a weekend a week? That's, that's kind of what I was thinking, like making it the 55 on the weekdays and then the $2 on the weekends. Yeah, that's, I think that would give us a uh, two uh, on the weekend, three on the Now, weekend. when you say two on the weekend, do you want to do one on the car and one on the walk, or do you want to do two in one? Two on the car, two on the walk, I mean, yeah. On one, the weekend. One on the, what do we have now? We're at 69. Okay. And the cots are, are 19. So if you say $2, are you saying $3, one on the cart, and two on the walking? Or are you saying $2 total, one and one? Or just put it on the walk? Or just put it on the car? I was thinking two and two. Two on the car, or one in the car, and two on the. On the yeah, on, 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 the, the, on, on the tea time. Yeah. Okay. So two on the individual and one on the cot. Yeah, that's three total. Right, so it would be three the 72. Total. Yeah, that's okay. And what did you say, Ed, was Swansea 71? She said the 73. Okay. That would put us at 73. Okay. That would be a double. That would be two. 72. Sorry, 72. 72. 72. Right. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I, I start anyways. Yeah. I guess that's 72 and 55. That's what and I 55. was. 55. I was trying to have the things up and yeah. let's yeah. come up with that. Okay. Well, then we have to go back next year, we go back. Or we have to go back some other time, we'll have to. Yeah. You know, if we're not making it, I don't probably, know. like I said, a good starting point. Is that we're certainly not pricing ourselves above anybody else nope. still at this point, so. Mr. Chairman, I think if you wouldn't agree with that, we need a motion. So, so generally, you're basically you're doing three across the board, because you did three yeah. on the weekend and three on the weekday. Yeah, three. Essentially, so, right, because you need to break it down the two and the one, but you're right, it'll be a three dollar on the weekday special and then the two and the mm -hmm. one on the weekend. Those who take the car. So, I'll make a motion for that, Manny? Yeah, I'll make the motion and then we'll do that. Second, anyone? What's the motion? So, it's three dollars on the three weekday. Three dollars on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And on the weekend, it's two on the rate and one on the cart. On the weekends, I always screw something up. This is three days, not thirty. That we worked on. Yeah. I don't want to do that now. I, I would just like to see it all laid out. Exactly what it would do. Each of the rates are each price point right. product description with right. price point. Right. What the patch holder would be, what the discount would be. Well, all right, so that's that's a good point saying that. So if we're doing three total on the weekend and three 
total on the weekday, that means that on the pass holders, those should go up $3 per round. So if it's 20 rounds, you should go up 60 bucks. 40 rounds. And, and what that what, what is that discount? Right. Do that calculation. We can just look at that the next time. Right. Okay. I'll run those time. out. I'll email it to everybody. And, and all the price points. And the nine hole price points. Yes. Too. So uh, if we're going up three, I'm figuring two dollars on the nine. Because you yeah. always your nines are always a little bit more than splitting it yeah, evenly. Because right. you don't right. have people coming in going, right. I'm going to stop with nine. Yeah. Okay. And then I get two transactions. You two credit card swipes. And junior rates are held. Hold them. Resident rates. Hold them. We said that last held. time. The hold hold resident rates. So we put them all out so we can <coughs> see what it is. All right. I think we can get to summarize that. We can see it right in front of us. And what, what about since we're on that? What about uh, a seven, uh, a nine hole walking? Mm -hmm. Yes, a yeah. nine hole walking is a so 23 instead of. So you go up. But can they buy a, a, a book? Well, I mean like a we don't have any nine hole books. We do. Uh, we have no nine hole walking uh, programs at all. It's just pay up. Uh, uh, Pay off the street. Our nine hole program consists of a nine hole with car. We do have a, the pass holder program 20, 40, and 60 walking with no car. You got you, you got a nine, nine. We don't have, we, um, no, we don't have a nine hole for that. Oh, yeah, I've had some calls for seniors that want to walk nine holes, but they would like to buy a book and they can't. Yes. But you could have 10 play card for an individual. Did we have that data? We have a nine hole riding. We don't have any any walking oh, programs. Okay. But what we do is with the, the walking pass holder, if a pass holder buys a pass and they want to bring a friend, they can turn in one pass and both walk nine holes, which has been fairly successful as well. Suppose the guy don't have any friends, you can't go up <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Then he pays a street rate, he matches him up down at the tee box with a friendly golf as a social I, I just brought it up yeah, because I got a couple of complaints and one I think can give you a hard time. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I, I don't think everybody in the world should come down and get a discount for golf. That's well, he, he, Somebody he, should be paying the straight rate. So usually a nine hole guy, but you that, come in, you gets, walk nine. That gets into to the loyalty program. <coughs> it's a template, say a template card. You give you give them a discount. Well, it's nine holes or not. It's a to your point a loyalty program. Yeah, but a nine hole guy is to me is not a loyalty program guy. A nine hole guy is a guy that walks in. Hey, I got time. I can fit in nine. Can you get me in? Right. Yes. Here's your here's your rack rate. Go down to see the starter and hit the putting green. As soon as we got an open, we'll slide you in. And aren't those from previous years, knowing that I was always out there with the kids, the nine hole rate walkers were always late in the day. There wasn't a lot of like afternoon. And, and we have a perfect time for that. The nine hole plays is right before, right when we shut down the box. And the time we need to clear out the two hours before the league starts on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. So, I mean, we have spots for them when customers are interested. And the nine hole walkers, I let them know this is a great spot. These are the days when you can do it. It's my time, Frank. Huh? Right? Listen, if you want it, oh, work. say it, vote it. We'll make up a new template card for a nine hole walker. I think we shouldn't discriminate in the contract, I guess. We should have the same product available. Or I mean, I'm becoming a senior. You're pretty soon. Are they any new like? I'm pretty soon. I'm there now. <laughs> no, I, I, I like them. No, you're a super <laughs> senior. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they want to commit the funds up front. I mean, maybe, maybe we just look at the pricing and see is there anything like, like a ten. I got set a ten card punch for ah, something that just makes it that gives them all. I'm gonna take thirty percent off, but maybe a little. And something. if the guy wants to walk, he's on the 
I think, I, I think we should do away with the password of cards, period. Yeah, that's it's a good doesn't so, And just have a template card. Special, special, especially with discount on the cards. Forget it. Uh, most, of, most of the abuse, abuse from the fairways is from cards. So if you have more people walking 18, pass holders, or... They're not going to convert people. But the, there's, you get discount on the, on the play, and you pay for the card. But don't we have that? They can buy the, they can buy the walking pass and buy the card if they want. They can walk if they want. Right, so, so, so we can do with the pass holder card with a card. Get rid of the pass holder with a card. Correct. You want to give up that revenue? You keep telling me I'm sold out on Monday, I'm sold out on Tuesday. I'm sold out of those Monday. sellouts are pass holders that have tea times mm -hmm. in groups. So they can buy a walking walk pass and buy a car. That is not going to go over well. <laughs> that, is not a, that is not a customer friendly program. But if. if customer friendly program. If um, that's what you guys want to do. Say it, he's done. Well, we have a motion on the floor. Well, but I, but I, I, think think I, think I think we had a second. I think we were going to wait and to see it in black and white in front of us as to see all the rights laid out good. before we actually vote on it. Okay. But well, let's, but Dana, as, as we presented with the $3 and the two, let's just you, get a You did $100,000 in the 40 round riding program that's the 40 rounder if you add in the other 20 for the 20 rounder and then the other 12,000 for the 60 rounder that's not a lot of happy customers so I just saying it. so let's just put together what this rate will look like under our current plans with the with the two and the one and the three that we just talked about We'll start with that. Sure. I, I'm just saying that you, you're going to stir up a beehive that doesn't need to be <coughs> stirred up. If you want to do it, increase the rates. Do it either way, right? Let's see what those look like. All right, so let's move on then. Town meeting article for 150000 Uh, they never had a January town meeting. Correct. Right. Question. I think articles need to be in by March 11. Yes. For, for this town meeting. The question is we voted on this back in October. The question is do we want to go forward with this same article? Which, are, which again gives us 150000 to kind of pick and choose what we need to work on. My, my personal feeling is that we should still keep it out there. We, I mean, had they had town meeting last month, we would have gone forward and had this. Correct. I don't think our needs of what we would spend it on has changed. And it's one of those things that it's there to give us the access to it if we want to go ahead with these things, which if we don't do the article, then we don't have access at all. Correct. So I think right. my personal opinion would be that we just keep our submission there or resubmit that submission by the deadline put on the town meeting. I'm not sure if everyone else agrees, but that would be my personal thought. The same mark? Yes. Okay. So keep it. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So I will submit that. Yeah. We don't need a vote. For no, but we already, we just, it's yeah. really just the timing of the town meeting that's changed. It got the intent or our intent. CPA request for the parking lot. Um, Steve did come forward with a quote to do our parking, to asphalt our <coughs> parking lots. It 
$60,000? Yeah, I believe that was, yeah. Um, that's that cheap. That yeah. well, for DP, well, that's, DP, that's DP, what the DPW is doing, if that's not, you yeah. know. It's perfect. That, that's the whole shebang grading coming in, that whole bit. Yeah. yeah, well, the, we have um, he, the, we have a, a little bit of an advantage in, in that respect with, with Dan working on it because he has, you know, he has a, um, I don't want to call it backlog, but he has a supply of um, his base mix on site at, at the yard right now. Oh, okay. And basically what it is is the old, you know, it's asphalt tailings from, from removing um, certain portions of the you know, roads in town and, and repaving and so on. So he's got that he's got that stock pot. So I mean we were, we're coming you know we would be coming up with uh, you know those are the rough figures he gave me after he measured it. Um, that would be uh, he, gave it, he gave me two options. I guess the question is, is this something we should pursue to see if, um, if there's any funding available um, for recreation or open space? Open space. And or, that, or that farmer's money they owe us. Yeah, we'd love right. to have that. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Yeah, exactly. We, we have been fighting that for years. Uh, yeah, that's a whole other. But well, I, th I, I think that... You know, depending on his availability, that I think that's a reasonable price in this day and age. Yeah. I thought it'd be a lot more than that. You know, basically, what we we're creating is you, you, the existing parking lot. We're going to have two sections. One is 370 feet. You know, each 370 feet by 60 feet. And um, what he and I were discussing was, um, you know, to to maximize our space. And to create better drainage through the parking lot, um, we're going. You know, he said we could we could shape that to, to slope down towards the uh, detention and retention right, basin yeah. the way it's supposed to. And the one thing that I talked to him about um, was eliminating the islands. I was just going to ask that the separations. Will yeah, be gone. We'll have, we'll, we'll be we'll there will be a separate. There will be a separation <laughs> between the two halves. Yeah. Because there is a little, if you notice, the one said there's yeah. a little bit of a step down to right. the other. Um, but right now, and, and what we had discussed is possibly either putting in, um, we're going to put, I, I told him, I said, I don't want to put something in with the Cape Cod burn because people are just going to drive over. Like the, the UPS guy the other day came in the parking lot and we were washing off carts, so he didn't want to wait for us to move it. So he drives through the parking lot, drives over the, the median and goes out. Right. Now, of course, he has to do it on the, you know, the wettest day, so the truck sinks and and we have people driving through the the, the, the medians all the time. We have the guy drive over the trash bin with that pickup truck. So what what's his availability? Um, well, that's what we have to you know, that's what we have to come to him with because he said you know his availability is in the fall and in the sp spring depending on you know you know what the snowfall is and, and how busy he gets. I mean he can do you know he would rather come in and do prep work. When nobody's here, or <coughs> close to a time when nobody's here, you get everything prepped, and then you know, for instance, depending on the timing, you could pave one side. Right. Depending on when the asphalt plant's open, yeah. pave that one side, get that side what done, do with the and then you yeah. still still uh, provide parking for for people, and then you could right. be working on the other side, even if you had people coming in. You know, I'm not going to speak for what his availability is because I'm not quite sure, but that's what. Um, that's what he's uh, yeah, he said, and um, again, like you said, he had that material, and then we would, you know, and, and um, you know, we would have to, and we'll go back to it and update it because those that was based on what the asphalt prices were at the end of the fall last year, and we, we won't get new asphalt prices until the plants open back up. So, so that's his estimate. That's his estimate. Yeah. Okay. That whether or not, not that's actual. again, he said he told me. Um, he said that there's going, you know, there could be um, that the prices were based on the asphalt. The estimates he gave were based on the asphalt prices last fall. So what, you know, when when they go to uh, when they open back up and start, you know, start producing again, then there, you know, there couldn't quite possibly be a change in in um, in the asphalt prices. I would, you know, 
given the current environment, I would expect that. So, um, do, you, Dana, do you see that as a big enhancement for the customer? The parking lot? Absolutely. Yeah, we talked about it a decade ago doing the parking lot. And I think then it was about 110,000. Moving, moving the golf carts down to get them gas and in the wear and tear. It, the, definitely help with the wear and tear. And a lot of my guys that are older, they go up the road. They won't ride through the parking lot because right. it. <laughs> they they ride by the end of an hour of gas and cots is that I gotta stop my back's killing me. And depending on the time of day, I mean, you know, you take it's your dangerous. life in your old hand own hands driving golf carts through that parking lot. Mm -hmm. gas. And if you're doing gas, you're on autopilot. You're not even thinking anymore. You're just buzzing back and forth, yeah. so we've, and we got a few close calls. I think that's a price. But yeah, it's a great price because I think when Alan was here we looked at it and it was Six figures. Well, see, at that time, the town didn't have, and I think <coughs> when Alan, right? they didn't have the equipment, but I right. think also that Alan may have been including the entryway oh, yeah? because they did the entryway so and yeah. next to no, the that, it was. Oh, well, we did that. We did, but that too was close to six figures. It was going to be double that. So well, that's why we didn't do it. The solar panels over it, too. So that's that money that the government will give us. Well, the other thing that you might want to think about is because, I mean, I got an email from the town administrator about funds that Governor Baker's making available. <coughs> and yeah. part of those funds being made available have to do with the renewable energy. 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 Yeah. And I, I was going to mention it just for instance, I mean, we've been... We've been debating now and again and here and there about what we're going, you know, if we're going to cover our carts and so on and so forth. Um, I would think that we would be able to, to to afford some type of cover and put solar panels on the cover if you weren't going to do the parking lot and, and possibly get that paid for. I mean, that's something else altogether, but something that's to consider idea. because there are funds and you know available. Of course, you have to go through the process request and so on and so, so forth. So that might allow you to. Make the transition even to but don't you what do when you well, do this you right? need a grant writer? Possibly. Yeah. We're right. We're usually more successful with him. Yeah, now. okay. Do we have a grant grant writer in town? Yes. We do? I believe so. They had one in the past. Um, oh, okay. So that would be some way that we could possibly find out where we stand with this? Um possibly because they would they're not specialists in it. They could research what's yeah. out there available. Right. It doesn't mean you're going to get it. That's but no. it is a, I mean, I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, but we have our town administrator that should guide us on that. Uh, yeah. If we sit down and talk. Yeah, I think yeah, he, he he's, got, he's got some experience with, with doing that kind of thing. So yeah. <coughs> he might be, you know, I, at least to, to pass it by him to see Something if he thought it would fall within... Um, get rent. Yeah. Had a lot yeah. of paved and then sold yeah. panels above it. Look into it. I've seen several colleges that have done that. And actually, the On Cape Cod, the, uh, yeah. the middle school, um, they just did that at, at Palm River Middle School a couple of years ago in Rehoboth. They put up the, the. They gave covers. me a plan for that. In the field, they want to do it. But it's, you, have, you have to put it base down before out of your pocket. For some might feel alone to do yeah. the field on in the, with so much base. base. They wanted two hundred and fifty thousand yeah. dollars down. I, I think that be because you're a municipal situation, I wonder what the it would be a better price for someone like that or I don't know, or does it go out the bid I Stuff more than likely, it goes the other way. direction. Yeah, yeah. Well, probably. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. You did, if, if you if you get involved with that, looking into into a grant, and all of a sudden it gets through, and, and the price that we're getting from Steve and uh, the DPW would probably <laughs> go up because you're not going to get the parking lot done for sixty grand. No way. I don't think. No way. I'm not sure I'm you know, getting back to the intent of this item with the anyway. yeah. yeah. PA. I'm not so sure what it's the paving as yeah, preserving the community. Yeah. But yeah. 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 So, so I mean, it can't hurt to, I guess it can't hurt to whatever that paperwork is to apply. I'm just 
so I would just be a little bit skeptical that is paving our lot community preservation. I mean, the whole the golf course is because it provides. Well, in some in some respects, it preserves it because we got to keep redoing it, yeah, right? It's wear and tear. We keep the revenue coming in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we can try and some. So it can't hurt to uh, whatever the application is, get it through the town and submit something. And then, of course, what's going to happen is they have that committee rejects it. Yeah, there were two. There were two options: a two-inch base with a one-inch finished coat. And there was a two inch base with a two inch finish coat. So the two inch base with a one inch finish coat was 60,000. And now I say base, that means, you know, that's, you have your, your base material and your first layer of asphalt will be two inches. And if you notice, I don't know if you've seen it when they do car paths and roads and what have you, that first coat of, um, rough. It's, it's rough. rough, it's bigger, bigger right. particle right. sizes. Yep. Then they put the finish coat on. Now the option B with a two inch base and a two inch finish coat was 80,000 bucks. And again, like I said, these are based on, on um, those. What is the difference between one and two? Well, the first is a two inch base with a one inch finish, and the second was a two inch base with a two inch finish. And Dan thought that we could, you could probably get away with a two and one because you're, you know, it's a parking lot. It's not a, it's not a heavily traveled travel road, you know, so. Yeah. What, I mean, I what I meant was the, the difference in price between. Oh, uh, difference grand. in price, twenty thousand bucks. It's not worth. It. Two and one is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on one. Yeah. So I mean, I could. Yeah, like I said we'll have to re we'll revisit. Yeah, I can revisit that with him and see. But I mean, we can look into whether or not you know Community Preservation Act funds would would, would apply. I, I know they've done. Um, it's you know I think it's all has to do with the way you interpret. How the rules for use are, are written. So I don't know. I've never done an application, so I don't know. It's the first thing your customer sees, and the last thing he sees. Correct. We might not do it because it's a private entity. Mm -hmm. One thing, if, if we don't, <laughs> uh, if we don't yeah. pave it, the one thing he did ask me about was coming in and, and leveling it. Yeah, we got some sink. Um, um, you know, we're coming in. Holes, you know, know when we on. when we can start. You know, w when it's workable, we come in. You know move material around, maybe put some more of the, uh, the, the shavings down and level it out and, and straighten it up a little bit. It's amazing just the water make, but kind of. Yeah, well, it sits in there and it freezes. Yeah. And when it freezes, it expands and it's, it breaks everything out. A few holes there and go fishing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty deep. Well, they, they keep on, everybody, when they go out, when they, when they design the parking lots, they, they design them at too much of a right angle. Mm -hmm. And people can't yeah. turn a right angle. They need that. The same thing with the trucks, and they make that turn, and they and they hit that same spot all the time. It's mm -hmm. like the end of a car path, right? Going off it, you know, going on and coming off. Right. And that's what creates that depression and, and, and bounce and what have you. So maybe you know we might be able to get them to, to, you know, to turn those corners a little wider. And the other thing that, that, that complicates us, we don't have any lines. So right. somebody will park right up on that corner, mm -hmm. and nobody can make the turn, so they have to swing wide. Yeah. And, you know, depending on how much they played and how well their golf game was, that, mm -hmm. you know, that may have something to do with, with where the holes are and the filled with water. Because this will require a CPA request for the town meeting in May. So we need to put our, if we're going to, Look, look into it. We need, we need to do it now. We don't. We just pass. So, I, well, if we now, did you speak with the town admin with regards to that? No. So, if we talk to him, see if he if he thinks it'll qualify. Who, I guess who judges if it qualifies or not? They have a committee. There's a committee of people. I think That's if they decide to pass it on in town. Yes, yeah, CPC so. committee. Yeah. Feel them up, right? Uh, yeah, I think we should, you know, the town administrator, some of the town halls, and at least maybe how to get at least the application packet, see what it is, and what the time frame is that should be out there. So I think Mr. Kelly could yeah. give us the information, all the information we need on that. That's one. So, who's going to do that? I can ask him. Okay. 
<laughs> so we have capital spending twenty six thousand. We had thirty two thousand and we got approval for the storage container sixty four hundred which leaves 26,000 left. The question is, is there anything we want to do between for that 26,000? Not that it's anything. I made up a little list that includes some of the things we had before, just the suggestions. So, you know, we could, we could pick and choose. Or if you didn't want to pick and choose at all, um, it's just some ideas thrown out there. Most the predominant amount of it is, is parked at. When is this, the ceiling between, uh, I'm going to guess, between containers? <laughs> What's that? Is one that the one that I'm going to guess the ceiling. The, ceiling. the, 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 the roof the over roof. No, I, I couldn't, I, I don't have the. You know what pay for that. <laughs> I, don't have the ex I don't have the expertise to quote that, so when, uh, when Al comes back, I'm going to get him to give me an idea what it's going to cost to do that. That's just a list of things. I didn't know if, if anybody else had a list or anything to discuss. I mean, you see the majority of it's cart pass. If somebody has a particular. I did include one thing in there um, to pave the cart pen. Um, now we've got all. we've serviced almost all the carts we've got about four or five left um, those are ones that have larger issues than just you know um, the, the routine annual service um, and then we've got all the carts out of the pen and I'm going to see depending on what our weather turns out to be tomorrow um, I'd like to see uh, before we put them all back in we're going to get in there and at least try to level it um, I don't, my machine isn't that good at it I might try to see if I can borrow the, the, uh, the uh, Bobcat from DPW and see if they have <coughs> so we can level it, but I did put down there. You know what? It, what I estimate that's my estimate. So that might be off. It's just based on the amount of square footage in the car pen and, and what it. Um, you know the the amount of asphalt per per square foot and how much it costs per ton and all that good stuff. So I just put an estimate in there. Um, the car pen itself is over four thousand square feet in size. Um, you know, and then um, like I said, these are just suggestions. Um, if we were looking to spend it, um, if anybody else had other suggestions or something they wanted to look into or something that stuck out in their mind, um, I'm assuming that's money from um, warrant items, right? Two, a couple of years ago. A couple of years yeah. ago, yeah. So what 2019, happens? 2019, <coughs> If you do, if you don't spend it, what happens to it? Does it sit there in perpetuity, or does it? Oh, right. I mean, we would, if we said we didn't want it, we could put in a request to have the balance rescinded back to our overall balance. But you might have yeah, 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 projects. Of types of things. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, those are just suggestions. So I don't know if anybody has in mind. <coughs> Dana, you have anything? No, it's some, you know. Uh, our decks were redone. The floors inside, bathroom floors have been done. Equipment wise, oven, you got that? Um, no, we we didn't we didn't no. do any any uh, we haven't done oven in two years. How's the grill? The grill's looking pretty good. Well, now. the grill, I mean, we, it's, it, we we haven't gotten <coughs> to it yet. Um, we're going you know, That's one of the next items on the list trying to uh, I was thinking about running a steam cleaner or at least a hot water pressure washer to try to get that stuff off of there I've been spraying it in pressure washer and some of it just it's not going to want to come it's not coming off so I don't know if anybody has any other suggestions but we'll know we're, we're going to have some repair costs because there are some issues with the um, yeah, all the pipes and with a couple of the pipes I mean it happens <coughs> almost every year almost every other year because the grease and stuff the cleaner you know, with uh, eats holes a, in a, a uh, wire wire rotary brush well, we yeah, did that last year we yeah. burned through they're the wire yeah, rotary brush yeah, yeah well yeah you do but I mean it does at the end of the season we there was a gap the, the flame was coming out of yeah. the, all, well, all those the, tiny the, yeah the, those, those things go all the time yeah yeah those can be replaced yeah, yeah. those can be replaced yeah. I mean, we just that have goes to, all the time we but just the have actual to go. Uh, the actual 
structure around. I've uh, even at where I'm working now, we use. He gets a. I don't know. He buys a whole ton of them. I mean, they last a little while, but I mean, they're not expensive anyways. It's just getting someone to do it. Yeah, you know. And we get we have to do it. Ones. I mean, if he's I don't know if he puts it on a Dremel or whether he puts it on a regular uh, a cordless saw, That's a good yeah, idea. cordless drill. Drill. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Either that or, um, you know, yeah. sand blast. Wire brush. Huh? Wire blast. Yeah. Well, you could do that, too. Send that, that out to get sand blasted. Well, that, we used to send stuff over to... Um, Old Colony. No. Um, yeah. Old Colony could do it. Mm -hmm. Old Colony oh, sand oh, I don't know if they oh, sand yeah. blast. I don't, yep. they don't, I don't know if they have a big enough sand blaster for that. I know New Bedford Volt does. Yeah, but they I don't know. has small... Yeah. Ones, you know, I, I don't know if they're doing that yet or not because we've done that we we've done that annually with our ball washers every year we'd send them nine yeah. and have them do have them do them yeah but um you know starting with the whole COVID thing they stopped doing well, that I'll thing. check with O'Callaghan and, yeah. and, and see see how big their sand blast can drop, drop the thing off and maybe they can have the kids practice we can take, we can take it apart to make it easier well, to handle. Let me find out. I'll yeah. find out uh, next week or well, before the next you meeting. Rent, you can rent a portable sand blaster. Yeah, the one sand. Yeah. yeah. They have, I think it, they might have a brand new one. Brand new one. Sure. I got one. one. Oh, John, well, one thing, if this clean more often doesn't create all that yeah, junk. Yeah, eventually, yeah. Uh, if it's just spray down with the greaser and exactly. You know, After exactly. exactly. But on the other hand, that all that crap goes on this tar unless you actually move the grill and put it somewhere to do that. Yeah, I mean, they you know have to, I mean? in order to do that, have to have to bring it down. That's, probably that's the whole issue. Down where maybe we with are that is that it could be done. Mess up what he is. It's just that there's a lot of mess. Yeah. Now the other thing that I and put. Steve won't let me do it on the grass over there. Yeah. Well, 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 I mean, just, it's, it's just a big grease spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, You'll fill the little den and I have it up in all the rocks down on the, the back of one. Um, the other thing I, I put down, down there is if you yeah. remember um, when we were discussing um, bunker renovation work, um, and Dave brought to all our attention that this particular renovation work on the second hole was in excess of $10,000. So we would need to do the appropriate bidding process and specifications and what have you. Um, so the other thing that you might want to consider is if we're going to have um, Mr. Mungin come in here and look at some other things, you might want to discuss to him about specifications and, and uh, you know, possibly bid documents for that. Um, because they, you know, then you would have a formal set of specifications that everybody's uh, bidding on, so everybody's bidding on the same thing, and um, and, and so on. I think to you know to um, you know to be you know for that process, and, and when you're going after bid, you probably should have somebody like that do that. Mr. Chairman, I have to leave. Okay. All right. I'll see we're good. And I, I wouldn't know what that would cost until he you know, would be, you know, made that request. He's a drill yet. Huh? He's a drill yet. Yeah, yeah he right said now. that he had to leave by 5.30, but yeah. only it's past 5.30. You want to do that? Yeah. yeah. Um, There's one thing that... If I could interrupt. Yeah. I, I went over this with, with Dana or something. We talked about uh, as, as far as non-profit play. And you guys, you guys suggested that we come up with some kind of form. And as far as the price goes, I don't know where we stand with that, but I think if we're gonna get people in, I'm, I'm sure there's always, a, there's a few town groups already scheduled to play, right? We have Old Colony on and the 14th and Lions have gotta change the date for them again. I have them. If you 18th of June. Line's done. All right. June 18th is a Saturday, right? Mm hmm Typically, our outing rate, I think last year we were at 62. If we do the three, we're at 65. And then if you want to do a resident rate, I don't know if you want to do... Whatever you want to do. See, this thing would be just for non-profit ones in our town. 
In other words, if someone came out of the Haven or something like that, they just go right back to that. The right regular, regular, regular rate. rate. Yeah. And I don't know, there's not many. I mean, there are, but I, there's not, as of I know right now, that there's nonprofits that have used the course in the past, but don't continually use it. The, the most continuous one is Old Colony. Cushioned Police. And Cushioned Police. <coughs> and this is for weekend play. And I didn't do anything about the Christian Lions came back yeah the, yeah the 18th the 18th of June so I don't know if we want to do something about that uh, as far as a rate goes and, and if this is efficient for what we're gonna do I think it's efficient it's just a question that we're gonna discuss and come up with a price. and then if you want to do is there a minimum maximum How yeah, price? Put, yeah the max I, I you know I, I wrote it, it should be a full field no matter what to get that rate, I would think that's my I, yeah, personal. I'm just I'm asking the question. So we we have, I'm just putting out this. So there's no gray area. It's one program. That's it. And but they sometimes check, when, check they, the when they fundraise for something, normally they don't know until they sell the the the, 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 the run, so they can you know. But same well, guarantee the full full deal for yeah. a new one, correct? For some, but most of them, Manny, will, will when you do that fundraising. Is there a deadline, right? So the deadline for this event would be, you know, three weeks before Sorry. their actual date, and, and then you would have an idea. I mean, we could be more reasonable. Yeah, I'm just. Right, you can do a minimum to a, a maximum would be 144. A minimum we'd have to. There's 120 or something. 120, 130. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's something that. I don't know. I'm just we should consider. Yeah. No, I agree. And then come up with a rate before we get into this year. We got another month or so. Two months. No, we're we supposed to open next month. Right? Are we ready to open? It's wet. That's a good start. Good uh, forecast coming well, we'll, next we'll week. We're going to start our we're going to start our course cleanup um, next week. Hopefully, we won't have any more trees come down, and then you know we'll see depending on what the uh, oh, wait for the, the tomorrow night. Is. Tomorrow night says the wind's <laughs> going to go Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I mean. We had the last two. You know, we had uh, three come down over the past weekend with the winds, and we had one come down last night with the winds and one down by the 7T which is uprooted. It's not down but it's yes. the stump is up and it's it's a, it's a widow maker. Yeah. So that that one's gonna have to be taken out before it I think I could have it myself, but that's gonna have to be taken out before we bring people in. So. I just saw need to change it for next meeting. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I give, you know, we can give the Lions and whoever else call who call me in the Little League if they end up some kind of a rate, as long as they follow that criteria, exactly. you know. And then you can have it on file, and you only have to do it once. Right. <laughs> once it's on file, you don't have to get any more of this stuff, except mm -hmm. the amount of people. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, right. And that that's routine with any event, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. All right. I think that's it for our agenda then, right? So any any capital expenses that people are interested in doing other than over here or what other, other than that? Or do you want to save that and use it later in the year in the fall to possibly put towards um, work on this, the bunkers on the second hole or the, what we're going to, the resolution for the eighth hole? I mean, a ton of it's like cart path work, right, which goes along with paving and everything, but then like jumped out of me like the I like the way you put uh, the question marks there. You should have given us the total. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that, to I, well, the, the total is over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't really have no, I, I put the question marks in the <laughs> yeah, architect yeah, yeah. because I didn't know. I don't like see all my money. There's not enough box room no, to put the number in. Well, you know, yeah, I had to make <laughs> the box a yeah. I didn't want to put the whole number there because yeah. obviously you're going to pick and choose. It's <laughs> not it's not an all or none thing, you know. People want to pick and choose and do that. It, it's fine if they don't. If yeah, you want to save something else, I just thought instead of everybody looking at each other and saying, "Well, what might it be?" I you know, put some suggestions down and pay for that. So, I mean, the isolation valve work is that something that's 
pretty much already too late? Like, would that be in the fall? No, that would have to be. You could do it now, but you would have to get it done by the first week of uh, April. Prior to the first week of April, because that's what I'm going to charge the system up, depending on how the weather goes. As a matter of fact, I got to, I've got to schedule that uh, coming up. We got two left, right? Well, you have I have two listed here. You have quite a few more than two. Um, we we how, many, well, how many did we do before? We did three last year. Oh yeah. This is continuing, continuing around the isolation valve for the second hole that we're speaking of is up by the second tee. That shuts, that isolates the second, third, fourth, and fifth holes from the rest of the golf course. The one of the ones that we did last year isolated the fourth and fifth holes from the rest of the golf course um, because five is a dead end hole. It doesn't connect to six. Six comes off the driving, uh, six comes off the first tee and the pipe that comes down that way. I just picked these two because they were in close proximity and they, and they were um, reasonable rates and they could be done relatively um, relatively quickly without too much so disruption. So number two's isolation valve does actually four four holes in total. Yeah, and it's five it's, only does it's one behind. Hole? You know, if you go if you're if you're familiar with <coughs> the uh, second um, you know where the, the the cart path turns by the second the black tee of the second mm -hmm. hole, everybody goes up to the first tee. It's right off the back of that turn. And that isolates from the second tees all the way through to five. So its primary purpose is those five holes. Um, if you were to, um, you, you, the one one of the ones we did last year isolates the fourth and the fifth hole. Um, the one on the fifth would just would close off the fifth tee from the fourth hole. So right now, if you have a problem on the fifth hole, you have to shut two holes down. Uh, I mean a major problem, you have to shut two holes down to fix. If you have a problem on the second hole, you have to shut two, three, four, five down. So you have to shut down four holes. If it's a major, you know, if it's a major leak, you know, uh, you know, because again, and the primary problem is when they constructed the course, they did not put isolation or ball valves in to isolate fairway laterals. So you have no way to shut off a fairway lateral. The only thing you can isolate are green and tees. So if your issues aren't on greens and tees, then you have to shut down. In you know most cases two three and four holes to you know do the work on the major on the major line. So how many more do you plan to have? Um, I believe there are. Um, I think there's a total of eleven. Lines. Um, these are those that we're looking at now um, are the ones that we considered doing initially were um, existing, but the, the existing don't properly um, isolate the course. So let me see, where's the HT? Uh, okay, go back. You don't mean to isolate each hole individually. Well, in, in, in the best world, you should be able to isolate every hole, but, um, you know, in a minimum to isolate two, because depending on, um, depending on what you have to do and, you know, with what type of piping you have to put in. The other thing is, by doing that, if you were to improve your irrigation system, by having that isolation, you could do some improvements during the course of the year and not have the whole, whole uh, whole course shut down um, yeah so we originally uh, let me see there's uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there are eleven existing isolation valves out there and those are the ones that we decided to pack first the others there would be one two three four five six Six or seven additional valves that would allow us that. Um, you know, then you do. You get eleven now. If you put seven more, you've got enough to do the entire eighteen holes. Yeah. Wow. Oops. So I this mean, is the two cheaper ones, right? Well, they 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 average about the same cost. It all depends on the size of the valve, whether it's a three-inch valve or a four-inch valve or a six-inch or an eight-inch. Last year we tackled the larger ones. Um, the one we did out back behind the 13th degree was an eight-inch valve, which was you know, obviously more expensive and a lot more work to get in the ground. 
Um, and the other two we did were, were the four and six. So I think these are both fours. For that, what that means is the the pipe um, supplying the particular areas that you're isolating is a four inch main, and then your two inch mains break off of that. Sometimes three inch mains break off of that, depending on what you have to irrigate. That, that work would be done in the fall? You could either do it in the fall um, when the system's off, or it could be done in the spring before the system before comes April. back on. All right. <coughs> yeah. Dan, Dan Tippett's not, a, not available, right? Well, he's available, yeah. I mean, you'd have to, you know, to do that, see, he's not available to do, you know, a, a bunker con reconstruction because he's spread out, but mm -hmm. to send two guys over, two guy, the two guys that he had last year, with the uh, a proper equipment and conditions could probably knock off those two valves in a day, day and a half at the most. Last year, the only thing that took us longer than two days for the three valves was we had to, we had to wait for the reorder of valve. The as-built said it was a six inch. When we dug it up, it was a four. So we had to, you know, had to go out and go back and get a four inch. That's roughly 8,000 bones. So like I said, you can do them in the fall, you can do them in the spring, but in the spring it would have to be done in the month of March before the water comes back on. And you have to let it sit there for at least 24 hours so everything seats up, but so, so the glue holds and all that good stuff, uh, and the, uh, the clamps and everything set themselves up. If I could, before we wrap up, I've been thinking about Ed's situation with the pass holder program. An option for that program is possibly do both go up on the price and reduce the quantity sold say there's a set number up the price create the the uh, attractiveness of it it's a limited offer and limited time only. Yeah, yeah and then shut it down so that, that I, I mean I would lean more towards that than eliminating it just an idea do we want to do those two isolation now? We get them scheduled. I think for sure. That's the way I'm kind of leaning, Steve. If you think you could get it scheduled to be done in March, why not knock those two things off this list? All right. Well, I'll call. I'll, I'll contact Dan and see if um, see what his schedule. Select next meeting on March first next week. So I can get a, get a memo. Or if we get a vote here. Right. We're doing the number two and number five isolation valves, like estimated at $8,000. I'll make a motion. $8,000, right? Yeah. I second the motion. $8,000. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, 7,700. Yeah, 7,700. Yeah, 7,700 is what it comes to. Like, mm -hmm. give, you, give you a little leeway for some extra clamps. In case they break a, one of those <laughs> traps. Right. This day and age, I mean, I still look at, oh, you know, I, I love hey, it. By the he, time you call, it's going to be 8,500. Yeah, it could be 8,500. Well, he gave me the, he gave me updated prices a month ago. <coughs> Hopefully it hasn't changed again. So, you want to start the next meeting? I got no court dates yet. I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I say that until... Till the next court date. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of crap. What's the date? Like 17 and 24? 17, no. That's my St. Patrick's Day. 24. Yeah. Yeah, March 24th. 24th? Sure. March 24th, Thursday the 24th. Here? Yep. How many weeks you want for? Two? Two. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All favor? Aye. Aye.